Unless you've been living on a rock the past few years, it's very likely you use software as a service or SaaS on a daily basis for business and as a consumer. SaaS is one of the three main categories of cloud computing, alongside infrastructure as a service or IaaS and platform as a service or PaaS. Out of the big three cloud computing models, SaaS is the most popular and commonly used one. And the great thing about it is, you don't have to be a developer or an IT expert to use it. So, SaaS in a nutshell is a method of delivering software and applications over the internet via a subscription model. This is a game changer. Compared to our traditional software model used prior to the emergence of cloud computing where users would have to manage, install, and upgrade software themselves on local servers or computers. With SaaS, you can simply provision a server for an instance in the cloud in a couple hours, you'll have that software application ready to use. Some key examples will be your email client, such as Gmail, the applications and tools you have on your computer, such as Microsoft Office or Adobe Creative Cloud, or even when you are jamming out to your favorite music streaming service. These are all SaaS, providing productivity apps over the internet. SaaS is used in a wide variety of business operations today as well such as communication collaboration tools, customer relationship management, billing, sales management, human resources management, financial management, enterprise resource planning, you get the gist. The list goes on and on. So like our other cloud computing service models, SaaS is the very top IT stack and has the highest level of abstraction. So this means a cloud service provider will be providing and maintaining all these layers for you in the stack. So let's take a look what that might look like and see how a user would typically consume a SaaS application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just shift these other stacks over here. Let's slide the SaaS stack right here. Okay, so our users would access a SaaS application within what we call a multi-tenant architecture. And by tenant, I mean user. So you'd have multiple users all accessing the same pool of resources within the stack. So it'd be the same hosted environment, same hosted servers where multiple users would have their own dedicated space to uh, securely store their data. And there's a lot of benefits with this in a SaaS application. So let's take a look at a few. So one, you know, right off the bat, it's much more cost efficient compared to our, our other models, because again, which is the overall theme of this whole video is uh, Cloud service providers could be maintaining and managing the application for you, so there's no IT overhead cost. And a SaaS application is typically consumed on um, a subscription-based model, which is either on an annual basis or a monthly basis. And that includes support, typically. Whereas with our older traditional models on-prem, um, you would have a perpetual license where you'd have a pretty large upfront cost and then you'd have to pay for support ongoing separately. Two, scalability, right? So you can horizontally or vertically scale on demand because again, that cloud service provider is gonna be maintaining everything for you. So if you need to add more databases or you need more compute power, they'll take care of that for you on a has needed basis. Another benefit is you can access your SaaS application anywhere which is a huge benefit right now, especially if you want to mobilize your workforce, right? So all you need is a web browser and internet connectivity to be up and running with your SaaS application. There's no installation, there's typically no plugins involved, and you can, no matter where you reside geographically, you can always be up and running. Now I should say, if you are looking for a SaaS solution, there are some instances where you do need to keep your data in the same location as you reside. For instance, with Europe, we have GDPR, and by law, you have to maintain your data where you reside. So there are gonna be some instances like that, but for the most part, SaaS is a highly secure solution. And then last but not least, you always have a new version, right? So once again, there's no need to update your licensing or update manually the new version of your software because that's all taken care of for you and it's automatically upgraded. And this helps with a lot of wide range of issues. Typically, if there's version control, right? In the past, you download software and then you might be operating with something that's not compatible with a different uh, version of that software. So everyone's on the same version of that software and 
you don't have to manually update and worry about patching all that junk. Everything's taken care of for you. So this is just a very quick overview of software as a service. Thank you for joining. If you have questions, please drop us a line below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can grow your skills and earn a badge with IBM Cloud Labs, which are free browser-based interactive Kubernetes labs.